Hey guys, it's been a long time. Glad to see everybody before the Thanksgiving holidays. Happy Thanksgiving to you, your families. Before we start this video, this has been a long time. In this video, I'll show you how I passed in four days a prop trading firm account with touch steps trading only micros. In this video, most importantly, I want to show you the gambling path for sizing and the professional path that I feel for sizings that will help you the best going forward, not only to pass combines or trading challenges in top steps or other firms, but as well getting habits, the right habits to be a professional trader. So let's go, let's go deep. First and foremost, as always, I like to show proof and receipts. I don't like to be one of those guys that talk about stuff on YouTube that has never done it. So I uh, received a little usual, little nice email. Hi, congratulations on becoming a top step trader. This just to let you know that you understand the uh, statistics. So from what I understand when I talk with prop firms, uh, CEOs, here's what I understand the stats to be. If you have 100 traders going for the evaluations of the combines and are trying to be funded accounts and funded traders, the percentage of the people going from 100 traders trying the eval to passing the eval is about 23 to 30%, depending on who you talk to. Everybody has different firm, but they're always talking to already three prop firm CEO, 23 to 30 percent. And that's the uh, uh, funded status. So it's funded live or it's a funded account. Okay, usually funded account because you have to prove yourself before you go to the funded live. Now, now check that out. The percentage of people out of those 23, 30% that do get payouts is mind boggling. It is only 15% of the 30%, right? So this is mind boggling because here, let's say there's about 23, 30, so it's seven. So we're going to take like 26 people. So let's say 26 people pass times 15%, right? And that's roughly three people to 3.5 people getting paid. Scary. That means, just to be blunt, 96% of the people will never get a pair. 4% of the people get a pair. So this is a clue, guys, because the people, when you listen to YouTubers and you see people getting paid or being other people passing, it's already a big clue of what they know and how they potentially have a strategy that can help you or a strategy that is solid. Because just by the mere fact that 96% of the people never make to pay. Okay? So now, why am I a big fan of the 50k account when you go online and you look at uh, all those guys they are like look at rips look at dakota look at all those top guys in the prop firms making two hundred thousand dollar payout ten thousand dollar payout twenty thousand dollar days and they used copiers whether they use copiers at apex they use copier at top steps, they use copiers at uh, Tech Profit, My Founded Futures, whatever, right? But what you don't understand is you should be obsessed about process, not about what others are making. Because I assure you that all those guys that are making consistent payout and money, number one, from what I showed you, there are only 4% out of the pack doing that type of results. And in addition to that, those guys have gone through years and years of blood, tears, and successes and failure. How do I know? Because I've done this for 31, 32 years, guys. And what we do is research analysis and tools. We have patented tools that are unique, you know, in the world 
for trading futures and investing in the stock market, funds on options and cryptos, right? So my point is, those guys have years and years and years of practice. So number one, be gentle to yourself. Be more interested about the process. So let me show you. Here is the process. In three days, I passed this thing because buy on blue, sell on purple. I took my tools. You know, that's what I use. I want probability power indicator. But I want to, to show you all the risk management with micro to pass whether you use our tools or not is another point. But you need to have a process where you know the trend. I knew the short-term day trading trend was down, which means buy on blue, sell on purple, every resistance I shorted the entire week, right? So I shorted this one, I shorted this one, and guess what? I got maximum profit with my crews, 1490 here and 1490 here. And then the last day I did $66. And how do we how do how do you know that? Because it's here. I show my guys on my Think World Differently community right there. See? This week on November 19, nine trades, 14.51. This one was a lot of little trades, 81 uh, uh micros, 81 trades, 49.81, and then 66. So even though I trade micros, guys, and when I do the eval, I'm a little bit more aggressive in the numbers of trades that I do. Ideally, I don't like to do more than three to 10 trades per day. That's the ideal. But as you know, this stuff, you know, sometimes you fight. You fight a day, you see stuff, you know, you, you, you have a clear trend and you add. And also the fact that you do micro will always make you do more trades, obviously, right? It's not like you enter one NQ or three NQs on your in and out, one trend or two trends for the day and you're done, right? It's a little bit more, uh, the scaling process is a little bit more uh, in the favor of having more trades, right? But I prefer more trades with micros than more risk with the full E-mini contract, right? Remember that. It's all about risk, 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 risk. If you want to be a consistent trader and a professional trader, if you want to be a gambler, you can YOLO and do this. And I'll show you two paths. I'll show you. I, I, I have tried both paths, and my guys have tried both paths, and there's only one path that works over time, and I'll show you why. But there's two paths. The path one is micros. And you are slow and steady. And I use one micro per thousand dollars of drawdown of risk. So they give you about two thousand dollars, right? They say you should not risk and lose more than two thousand dollars. That's your buffer. That's your max drawdown. Your max drawdown is everything. They might tell you they give you fifty thousand dollars again, but it's not true. What they're really giving you is a two thousand dollar. Draw them. That's it. So it would be the same as me giving you $2,000 and say, hey, do your best with it. That's what they really do. With them. So I trade one micro per $1,000 of risk as an initial size. So that means that any startup size, when I start the day or I see an entry and exit, a pattern with the probability power indicator, I allocate one micro for $1,000 of risk, which means I start with two micro because I have $2,000 of risk. And listen to that. This is where it, it, it's very important. If, it's like, it's like a programming, if, that. If the trade goes my way, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, you know, I have that trend and that channel then on every pullback within the probability power indicator or the zone retracement, I'm buying more and more and more. The reverse is true. I'm starting with two and it starts going against me. Lower high, lower low, you lower high. Instead of going up, it starts going down. Now I'm decreasing, now I'm back to one. And then it lower high, lower high, boom. I'm completely out or I have my stop loss. Now, stop loss for me, is 25 points on the micros, right? 
And the target is always 75, three to one. And then I readjust the bracket in up, down, up, down, according to the zones. So for instance, let me show you a thread here on the micro. So let's go back to the probability power indicator. And let's look at that day. So here's a perfect day. So I made on the 19, $1,400. By the way, again, if you missed it, it was right there. I'll show it to you again. Here, here, and here. Okay, nine trade on the 19, $1,400. So what did I do on the 19? Very simple on the probability power indicator. I had a knob arrow. So see, the cloud was down, down, down. Then it was up by 9, 9.30, right? What is it? Like 9.30, boom, we start the day. You have the power open, they hold, and we fly, right? So I was long. But I was long, but I was looking for short, really. I was looking for short because I knew all this area would reject as a lower high here rejection. And, and, and I could do the replay showing you that this was down. So I got the up. And then later, I got the down the next day. I, th I think actually I put a, an intranight trade. Sometimes I do that and I go to sleep. And by the way, those are the best. You put two micro short and then you go to sleep. And the stop loss was above here, above the uh, power indicator uh, supply zone, the resistance zone, right? So you need to have some technique and some te technique and some strategy to get in and out. But everything, so listen attentively, everything is about size. Because look here with micros. The long that I got here on the 19th, so where was I was showing you, right there, right? This long went from roughly at before 10 a.m., 2,500, right? 2,520 all the way to 8.30. This alone, from here to, so from almost the support zone and the power open to the resistance power indicator was 300 points. 300 points, that's a $600 move per micro. Per micro. If that was a full NQ contract, that would be a $6,000 move per contract. So the point of the matter is, look, your goal as a 50K account on the combine, on top step and other prop trading firm accounts, funded account challenges, is usually this. You have a 50K account, which is not 50K as I explained. They give you a $2,000 max drawdown that you can lose. And your target, your target to pass is 3K, right? And they give you a maximum a top step of five contract or 50 micros if you use the TopX platform. Remember what I just said. If you use the TopX platform, I think there's other guys that told me if you use Trade of Eight or other of their platforms, you can use five full uh, NQ contract, but you cannot use the 50 micros. So make sure you sign up for Top Step X, their platform which is this, look, it looks like this, right? This is this, or where is it? Here, right? And those were my day. By the way, that's my XFA. So I passed the XFA by Thursday, Friday, November 22nd, right there. We are live here. It's my stats right there, right? I already made 472, so... I'm already up $472 into the uh, uh, funded account. And if I do that for five days, so I have five days, they don't need to be consecutive. So I can be profitable, let's say, uh, tomorrow, then I'm negative uh, on the 26th, negative here, positive here, positive here. That's one, that's two three, four, let's say the week after on December, whatever, after Thanksgiving and positive, that's five days. Now I can request a payout 
for 50% of my profit that will show it here, my balance, 50%. That's their rule. And each prop firm is different. I'm talking about top step here. Now with top step, if you have 30 days, it doesn't need to be consistent. But if you have first 30 days of making $200 or more, right? Now you can get up to 100% payout of your entire balance here. But you never want to do that. It's not small. You always want to build that, build your buffer. Yeah, that's your capital. Re really, that number becomes your capital. And you want to build it up, 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 right? Ideally, for me right now, I would like to build it up over $3,000 on this particular account. And then every time that I have my five day consecutive, I'll take my 50% payout above the 3000 but I'm not in a rush. It's like I'm, I'm not, I, I am not desperate for the money, which is a good thing when you're a trader because when you trade, and believe me, I've been there in my life, when you trade for paying bills and you pay your combines and your evals and they keep on accumulating 100, 200, $500 of eval a month, it's, it's going to put you in a stressful place. It is a lot better if you approach this business by stages. So I can only share and help you guys on some of the stuff I've done for 31 years. And for me, it's hard because to tell you the truth, I started in prop firms long time ago, guys. I was a prop firm in 1994, 2001 with Andover Trading, Sean Fell, all the old source bandit companies at the time we were trading stocks and NASDAQ stocks were at 55, 7 and 63, right? And at the time, the split was horrible. It was 50%, 60%. The commissions were horrible. Now you guys are in a very, very, very privileged uh, uh, way. You can go from top step to my founded futures, to uh, tech profit, to a uh, trade day, to whatever prop firms that are reputable who pays you, right? And you can get a little bit of money from this one, from this one, from this one with very asymmetrical bet. If I put 50 bucks to 100 bucks and I can within a month, you know, pass and get a payout within a month and even get a $500 payout, it's a five to one asymmetrical bet. You put 50 to 100 and you get 500. So potentially it could be five to one or 10 to one, you know, in a month or two. But for that, listen attentively, guys. I've done it a long, long time. Listen, listen, listen. Because most of my life I trade with my own money and I'll show you, and I've showed you my over a quarter million dollars retirement accounts that have gone up and up and lately it's gone up another $20,000 because we have over a thousand shares of Palantir, which I'll give you an update on another video. And, and by the way, if you don't believe me, this was the October, uh, uh, the October, a video that we did on the accounts and you can see the palantirs here here 798 shares but i have even another 260 shares so we have over a thousand shares and here you, you can see last month was already up almost nineteen thousand dollars on palantir but now it's it went look and see it's 43 dollars from 43 to 61 so it's another 20 points almost on palantir in terms of profits so anyway let's get back to the evaluations because that's the point all those payouts you want to use them to buy assets assets that are going to provide you dividend income uh, you even reinvest them in real estate if you want buy a house and and then later on you keep up with inflation buy cryptos i don't care buy assets that you don't day trade that you are not emotionally attached buy them forget them add and add and add to your position like your bitcoin or whatever like safe the safer one not the crazy one you know if you want to do crazy one that's fine i i have a portfolio of twenty thousand dollars where i do crazy stuff right but generally speaking if you are there's no reason at this point to trade your own money i don't trade my own money guys anymore i mean i have a little account in options still because 
I am really known for doing options AODT on SPY. That's really what I did. And this is where I made most of my money over the years. But being back into this environment of prop firms, if you can be good at this and patient to pass your eval, to get your payout, you truly can in six months to a year change your mind because you can get you can do the, the, the stacking process, right? So what is stacking? So I explain a lot, by the way, of those concepts with asset protections, tax efficiency, uh, a, a lot of patterns for free if you join below somewhere in our uh, descriptions, uh, you join our Thinkwell Differently community on Score. It's a new community that we opened uh, less than two months ago. You'll have the zero to true wealth in four months. You have stuff in taxes that I pay at turn is $500 an hour, automations, how to do pass the combine. But it's a lot more than this. There's option stuff. There's a lot of stuff that can really help you with the stuff that I do with real money. So that's the thing is there's a lot of YouTubers that talk and talk and talk, but they don't do anything with real money or real passing accounts or real payouts. It's it's just talk, okay? So learn from people who do stuff with real money. And I think there is a lot of concept here that will help you tremendously, and it's free. Just go below and we'll look at your profile. And we will just want good trader, positive people that really want to learn. I mean, I love to teach when I'm available, but you see from now to the last video, it took a month because I'm busy. There's stuff going on in my life as well. Father of five, I am also an entrepreneur. So trading is, is not easy. That's the, 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 the paradox of trading is it is the easiest place to make a thousand dollars in one hour. And it's the hardest place to make consistently a thousand dollars every day. Okay. So the key for you to reach consistency and pass those accounts is going to be size. No matter what the, the method, of course, I use the probability power indicator. It's a patented tool. We got the pattern with the USTPO I showed you many times. It's something that took us three years. It's very unique. It's very helpful visually, you know, to have the box and the probabilities of ranges and everything. But there's a lot of free stuff out there that you can get, guys. You have the VWAP, you have volume profile, which, by the way, I don't even know to use volume profile, and I want to learn. You have initial balance, high and low, 15 minutes, 60 minutes. There's so many tidbits of things that can help you. You have risk on, risk off here with DX, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, listen and listen to that attentively again. It's all based on one thing and one thing on its size. If you have a big size and you have the best tools in the world, you have the best entry in the world and the best exit in the world, and you have huge size, and there's a little bit of a week on NASDAQ, bam, you lose everything. You lose everything, guys. I've seen it over and over and over again. Go play with the seam with 5 to 15 NQ contract, and you'll see how it feels, the ups and downs. And you'll say, holy shit, this is not easy. But... If you grind the game with micros, you will accomplish a lot of stuff here to be a professional trader. So let me show you the two paths. Because I want to be honest, the two paths could work for you, or you can do a combination of the two paths, and then you choose. I My job is to show you with experience what could help you in terms of sizing the prop firm accounts, to pass a top stay 50k account and 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 any actually just not top step any prop trading firm evaluation for 50k path one the path one is the gambler okay and by the way i i i don't spit on it i've tried all the path to see which one is best and especially for you guys if you really want to have a long-term career. And here I'm going to call it the pro path. The gambler path is easy. Five contract, five NQ, full contract, no micros, right? Stop loss is 10 points. No, sorry. Stop loss is 15 points. So it's the risk ratio is not even 
two to one, three to one, five to one, 10 to one. It's a reverse restriction. Stop loss is 50, target is 10. Why? Think about it. 15 points, it's $300. So 15 points equals, excuse, my writing is really bad with this thing, $300 times five contract and boom, you have your $1,500 on day one. And because of the consistency rule, you cannot make more than $1,500. If a, a prop firm like Top Step say you have a 50% consistency rule, which they have, they want to see that at least you are not doing $3,000 uh, $3, in one day and you got lucky. So some people YOLO, Every day they come and they are going to say, you know what? I'm going to risk 10 points, right? 10 points, which is $200 times 5 NQ. So those guys, they can realistically do only two trades like this or two days. If they say, okay, I'll do one on day one, one on day two, and then they blow up. So what's what? why would they do that? This is people that are trying to game the system. They are saying to themselves, well, Mark, I'm going to pay $49 to do the evaluation, play the game. And if I pass, I'll pay another initiation fee, setup fee of 149. So let's say roughly 200. So those guys want to pass as soon as possible to pass. What they don't understand is, yes, you might get lucky and pass this way, so you are pass. And then what? If you are going to have an XFA and you have a funded account and you are going to play that game, you are not going to be a consistent trader. You might be first day, second day, but if every day, every day you do five and Q, 5 NQ, 15 point stop loss, 10 point target, you're not going to, your life expectancy is negative. You are going to blow up. So the reason I'm showing you path one is that you understand that some people do that. And perhaps if you are disciplined and you are really good at, at the craft of being a trader, if you do path one and you have plenty of money to try to try until you pass quickly, then when you are here, then no matter what, you need to be a professional trader and, and scale micros, right? And by the way, people say, oh, you never trade in Q. I have no problem trading in Q, but if I go higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, and now with my micros, I have a buffer, let's say, of $900. I have no problem then here on the next pullback by one NQ. Because I've already have a buffer here and then boom, new highs, higher highs, higher lows, and I have an NQ or two. But I never start or do an NQ unless I have a nice buffer from my micro. Because the micro, what's nice with the micro, it's like a doctor. You can go like very precise. It's like scalping. Very precise. One micro is one tenth of an NQ. Then two micro is 20% of an NQ. Uh, three micros is one third of a, a, a full NQ. You can be extremely precise in control in your entry, your exit, and your risk management. Now, if you want to trade like a pro, what I think is best, and it will give you the right habit. By the way, listen to this because I always tell my guys this. The way you train, and by the way, I used to do uh, MMAs. Uh, earlier in my life. So, you know, I don't look like it, but I'm 53 and and and, uh, and I still go at the gym like almost every day. So the way you train is the way you fight. Let's repeat. The way you train is the way you fight life. If you train like shit on the seam just to pass, you will train like shit when you are funded and you'll blow up. If you train properly on the sim with no, not even for two months, three months, without spending money, just use the sim, the sim, the sim, real time sim. Look, top step when you buy one uh, evaluation or combine, they give you a sim for 150.
practice it, practice it, practice it, practice it, day, day and night. Same with trade of eight when you are with other platforms. Practice the dome, entering and exiting the dome. Practice moving your bracket. Practice scaling in, scaling out. I'm telling you this stuff, even after two or three years using trade of eight, I still screwed up my entry, my exit, my scaling. It still happens. And it's costly, everybody. Be a professional means you trade on SIM with the right habits with the micros. You go on the funded account with the micro and you go and pay out with the micros. And I'm telling you guys, you'll have a lot less stress. You will be a lot more in control and you will become a lot better trader. Everybody watching this video, I never make a promise. I'm not a promise type of guy. But the only thing I can guarantee you, if you guys are going to do only micros, you start with one or two micros, especially two, one micro per thousand dollars of risk on the $50,000 combined, you have $2,000 of, of leeway of max drawdown, it's two micros. You start and you scale up and up and up as you, if the position is profitable. I assure you, if you train a $50,000 account on EVA, on SIM, on XFA, passing them, and some payout within your first year, when you come to your second year or your third year doing this stuff, you'll be a killer. You'll be able to do the NQ. You will have the mindset for the NQ at the $150,000 account, and you'll be ready for that. And what I don't understand is people, look, I've done it for many, many years, and I'm comfortable with the 50K account. There's no shame on that. If I can have five accounts plus five accounts and, and having 12 or 15, 50 K account across different prop firms and stacking like you do the credit card stacking, there's nothing wrong with this. It's still $2,000 times 15, $30,000 plus of other people's money, not my money. Me, I can reinvest it in Palantir. I can reinvest it in Coinbase. I can reinvest it in a storage business with partners. I can invest it in my business. I can invest it in myself, right? I can give it to my kids to start a business. I don't have to use my 30K, right? So if you really want to be a killer, guys, it's kind of like a, 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 a rite of passage. You know, you go at the gym. You don't go at the gym and you bench press uh, 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 200 pounds, 250 pounds. You don't squat 400 pounds, 425. You, you you have to build up to that. And this is no different, guys, when you trade the prop firm or any day trading. Well, even when you day trade your own account, guys. So again, my preferred path, if you really, really want to pass, is the professional path of micros. And it will sustain you. It will teach you the game. You'll be better at your injury. You'll be better at your exits. You'll be better with your runners. And if you use one micro per thousand of risk, of drawdown that they give you, max drawdown is 2,000 on the 50 account. I start all my positions with two micros and I scale. Sometimes it's one micro just to test the water, put my tippy toes in the water. And then when I'm right, I add, I add, and I add to winners only. Never add to losers, never DCA. I don't DCA. You know what I do? I get out. I reassess the position and he keeps on going lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And like, you know what, Mark? This was not that particular support zone. It's the next support zone below. And then I readjust and I re-enter. You, it costs you a lot less money to re-enter the trade later on than DCA, DCA, DCA. You know, the only time I DCA, guys, it's when you invest for asset, it stocks for the long term, three years to 20 years. Crypto, the same. When I invest in crypto for three months, six months, one year plus, then I can DC. I hope this video was helpful, everybody. You know, at the end of the day, you have your own process. I use the probability power indicator. Feel free to join our free community below. We are going to do a lot of cool stuff between now and the end of the year when everybody is going to pound you with a Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday offer. I have nothing 
really to sell you anymore. The bootcamp was closed in October. I am done for the year. I'm preparing the 2025 game plan. I'm preparing, reviewing my trade, reviewing my goals for the year, everything that I want, the, the experience that I want to do in my life with my wife, my kids, and, and my businesses. So I hope this video was helpful. Those stuff I learned, and, and I'm tell, telling you and sharing stuff, guys, that we do. We do with real money, real accounts, every day, every morning, we trade. Okay? Love you all. We'll see you in the next stream. We'll do a lot of streams coming up soon and a lot more. And by the way, if you are another YouTuber and you're watching these videos and you want to try the probability power indicator, just send us an email at contact at power indicators. I would be happy to give you one month, two months, three months license, depending on the uh, size of your channel. And, and I would love you guys to try and see what you think. Take care and have a great Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays in the U.S. Be grateful for whatever you have in your life, not what you want. Count your blessings. And believe me, when you wake up every morning with an attitude of gratitude, it will bring you a long way to become a better trader. Take care, everyone. And I hope this video was helpful.